Welcome to a question in which, um, here I'm looking at number 11. It says, or it could be a different number on yours. Find the 25th, 50th, and 75th percentile for the following list of 34 data. Please enter exact answers. Now you're going to have different particular numbers than me, but let me show you how this problem works. So what you want to do on this problem right here is you want to copy so I'm gonna, notice I'm going to highlight all those with my mouse. You see me highlight those? Then I'm going to hold down Control-C or Command-C. If you have a Macintosh, a MacBook, you hold the Command button, hold it down and hit C for copy. If you have a, a regular PC, you hold down Control and hit C for copy. Control-C or Command-C. Co you know, Highlight those, copy them. So it's copied now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the, um, if you go back to the home page of our course, Back to the home page here. And see on the home page, uh, on the very home page, there's the calculator right here. See this calculator on the home page? Click on that calculator. And when you do, this calculator will open up. We're going to be using this calculator all semester. It's an online calculator. You can use it in the exams. Click on number two, which is the one variable stats calculator. And when you click on number two, this will open up right here, one variable stats calculator. And then just come right up here to the top. I'll, I'll, I'll see, I, I, I put my cursor in that box. I just I just clicked my mouse in that box. That's flashing in that box now. And I'm going to hold down Command and hit V. And it's going to paste all those numbers automatically in there from the problem. Those are all the numbers from that problem, all 30, whatever it was, 33 numbers or whatever. Now, see it goes off the screen. See how this one's partly on? I'm going to put my cursor here and go left, 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 left. I'm going to keep going all because I want to get back to the beginning. Okay, I'm at this first one. Now, you have to put a comma after each one. So I'm going to go to the right and go comma. Now, you don't need to get rid of the spaces. The spaces are fine. See, I'm just sticking a comma after each one of these because that's what it says up above. You read the sentence above. Whoops, there we go. It says put a comma between. You, anywhere in between. This extra spaces are fine. Just you got to have a comma between each one of these numbers. So I just, to paste it, I did command or control V. So copy and paste are command or control, depending on if you're a PC or a, or a Mac, command or control, hold it down and hit C for copy and the V, which is right next to V like in uh, valuable, you know, right next with the C and the V, V are right next to each other on your keyboard. That's for copy and paste. You know, just I highlight, now I'm gonna go to the right here. I'm gonna go a little more to the right. I gotta put a comma after each one. Almost done here. Is that the last one? That's the last one. So I put a comma after each one. Then come down here. You don't need to choose either one of these bubbles. Just hit calculate. And there it goes. Now, our answers, we don't care about that first number, the mean. They're not asking us for the mean. But we care about these five numbers. The, or actually, I'm sorry. We care about just the Q1. We don't care about the minimum either. Just the Q1, the median, and the Q3. That's what they're asking. I'm going to go back to the question, uh, I think. Let me see. I had a teacher preview again. Uh, what number was it? It might have changed the question. I hope it didn't. I don't know. It might have. Um, is that the same question? Um, those would be your three answers. So I don't know if, if this is the same question or not. 48.7. Is that? I think that is. That looks like it. 25.8. Let me see. I don't know if it changed it. Yeah, 25.8. There's a Q1 is 20. That Q1 means the end of the first quarter, which is the same thing as the 25th percentile. So 25.8 right here, 25.8, 36.3, 42.1. See if that's right. Yep, those are the three answers. Those are called the 25th percentile. See it right here, 25th percentile, 50th percentile, 75th. What do those mean? That means think about a football game or a basketball game. If you're 25% of the way through the game, that's the end of the first quarter. Well, we call that on the calculator, it calls it Q1. That means the end of the first quarter, you're 25% of the way through the game. The median is right in the middle, like the median on the highway is right in the middle. That's the 50 percentile. See how that's 36.3? I go back here. 50th percentile, 36.3. And then the 75th, that's 75% of the way through the game. That's the end of the third quarter. The calculator calls that the Q3, 42.1. Those are your three answers. We don't care about all the others, the mean, the minimum, the max. We don't need those. So again, what did I do? I just highlighted all the numbers in the table, held down command or control C for copy, 
went to the calculator, went to number, the calculator on the homepage, went to number two, which is the one variable calculator. Here's the one variable calculator. I paste, I, I, I put my cursor in this box up here and I held down controller command V as in very or, or valuable to paste. Those are really helpful. Control C and control V or command if you have a Mac to copy and paste C and V are right next to each other in the keyboard and you paste it in here. Then you got to stick commas between them. See, the spaces are fine. You don't have to get rid of the spaces. Just stick commas between all the numbers as it says up here, separated by commas. And then just hit calculate. Boom, you got all the numbers. There's your answers. You just type those in. And so there we go.